What is going on everyone? It's Codexel here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a web server for your Windows machine. Currently I do have Windows 10. Um, this does work for Windows 8.1, 8, 8 7. Um, it's fairly in that range. You can try XP and Windows Vista, but you know I would just keep it for, with more updated Windows. Um, first things first is you want to go towards uh, google.com, type in xamp, um, a or excuse me, XAMPP, then this will pop up. Um, XAMP installers and downloads for Apache Friends. Um, basically, Apache is your web service um, and it comes with PHP. We don't have to worry about MariaDB and Perl. Um, this is not something that we're worried about, but it does come with it, so it do, it's a bonus. Eventually, we're going to talk about this, but we're going to start off with the basics. So, for, um, for your Windows, go ahead and download it, install it. I already have. So, for the sake of the video, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, skip that install. Um, and you're just going to keep hitting next, 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 until it's completely done. Um, then you'll run it, and this will pop up. So, this may uh, pop up if you have VMware installed. Uh, you cannot start your Apache services. So, even if, if I hit start, it's trying to start, but it stopped. So always definitely read the red error messages to see what's going on and then you can troubleshoot it. So basically there's another programming program that's stopping the services to run on our port 80 and port 3 or 433 which re is required by Apache. So all we got to do is go towards our um, task manager, look for the VMware um, tachhosted.exe which is, we'll scroll down, blah, 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 blah. Where would it be? Right there. Okay, so, and task. And now we'll be able to start it up. Sweet. Yep, so simple like that. Um, definitely small trouble shooting things will help out with your life a whole lot easier. Um, you can definitely open up the logs and let's see what the log files say of what's going on. Um, so, Let's start off with the basics. Your IP address, your local machine IP address, not your internet IP or any of that stuff. So there is, uh, let me open up Notepad. There is your local IP, which is everyone's computer. Um, so it's local host. Um, then your router IP, which is to find out what your router IP is, uh, go to command prompt and uh, type in IP config. And if you're on Wi-Fi, then look for a wireless um, adapter. If you're on an ethernet cable, like how I am, look for ethernet adapter, um, then look for the IPv4 address, which is 192.168.1.51, which is my router IP. So uh, 192.168.1.51, so router, IP and this is even considered as your internal IP uh, to get your external IP which is the IP address that your internet service provider uh, gave you you just go to ipchicken.com and uh, get it from that um, I would show it for the sake of this video but however I don't feel like censoring out my IP address uh, nor giving you guys my IP so we're just gonna go with some random digits and that that's we're gonna pretend that's my IP address okay so it could look like that and this is your ISP IP or your external IP address so these are really important to know. I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'm not going to close out of this. I'm going to refer back to this. So um, if we go towards um, our local machine, which is this IP address here, and type that in, and it's going to take us towards our main site. Well, how can we get our domain name set up and our DNS and whatnot? Um, I'm going to go through that here um, in a moment. I'm just letting you know that you can access your website by typing in 127.0.0.1. Um, then you'll be able to do that. If you are on a um, different computer but on a same network, this won't work because this will go straight towards your um, other computer that you're on. So you want to grab that 
router's um, IP address, and you're able to um, pull that in there. So let's just say you're on another computer, and you type in that router's IP address, um, you're able to pull it up. Now let's just say that um, you try to get your internet service providers or your external IP and you type it in. Now there's a couple of things. Um, it may bring you towards the site and it may not. Um, it it requires a loopback. So if your ISP has a loopback and you're able to see this web page with the IP, then it does have a loopback. If you pull up the web page with uh, the IP and it doesn't, or excuse me, if you type in the external IP and it doesn't show on this web page, then your ISP doesn't have a loopback and there is a simple fix for that. Um, this is where we're going to get lit, get a little bit more technical in the um, um, DNS and domain name and IP pointing and whatnot. So what we want to do is open up our notepad. So notepad and you want to right click run as administrator and what you want to do is we want to get to this to this um, pathway so you want to click on your C drive click on your windows scroll down look for system 32 then look for your drivers uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, drivers look for ETC now um, how it says text document you want to click on that drop down menu select all files then click on hosts go ahead and open that so we're not going to worry about all this we'll just go ahead and get rid of that um so first things first since um your your isp doesn't uh, have loopback what we want to do is manually configure a loopback on your computer that you're on so you want to type in uh, 127.0.0.1 and hit the tab or space that whatever your domain name is so for example we're going to go with team infection that's my old domain name so um, yours could be I like cats or it could be something else um, whatever your domain name is replace that right here so now what we can do is uh, we saved it by control S and what we can do is type in team infection or how ah, that's not team infection. That's team viewer uh, team infection.com. And it took us to the page It took us to our homepage. So um, let's just say you're on another, um, you're on a different computer and um, you know, it still doesn't require a loopback. So on this different computer, what you want to do is type in the router IP address where, you know, the server is hosted on. Um, then, you know, type in the domain name right there. And this, these two, it cannot be with these two. They'll conflict. So this is definitely applying towards the other computer. Um, then, you know, you go ahead and hit save then type in teaminfection.com and it'll take you towards your web page. So um, that's for the basic local networking. Now to actually point your DNS, um, you might have um, no IP.com um, services with, with their DNS. All you do is just go to ipchicken.com, copy and paste your IP address. Um, if you go with GoDaddy, um, let me go ahead and pull them up here because I go through GoDaddy. Let me um, open up that page here. Okay, so I'm in my uh, DNS management for teaminfection.com and I want to point the um, IP address. So I go to ipchicken.com and get my IP and paste it right in here. So this is an old IP. Um, what we want to do is, you know, get your IP um, from ipchicken.com and go ahead and paste that in and hit save so where it says the at then that's where you want to paste that IP in if it doesn't show the the, the type a and then the name at then the value which is the IP then the TTL if it doesn't show that you can manually do it by hitting add 
um, it's going to be an A type record. It's going to be your at. Then it's going to be pointing towards the IP address, right? Then all you're going to do is um, go ahead and hit save. Or um, how long is 300 seconds? Um, one hour is fine. And you can go ahead and do that from there and manually do it. So every time, um, um, if you're not on the same network, like, you, for example, use your mobile phone um, from, if you're using T-Mobile's network, make sure you're not connected to the Wi-Fi. Go ahead and type in your domain name and it'll bring it up. Um, your website, that also means you have to port forward and how to port forwards actually simple so I'm going to my gateway so how I said um, on your command prompt when you type in IP config um, on your command prompt it'll show the default gateway which is right here and the IP address so it's gonna be 192.168.1.1 yours might say different so whatever that IP is go ahead and type that in then it'll take you towards your router all routers are different, all interfaces are different. Um, but for me, I'm just going to do a quick example. Uh, I'm just going to go towards my um, port forwarding. Then we're going to go ahead and add new. And, you know, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, um, HTTP, um, or you can type web server, or, you know, whatever you want to name it. Then it's going to be asking you if it wants if it's a TCP or a UDP so it's going to be both protocols um, then you're going to type in port 80 then the computer's IP address um, that the router assigned it which is 192.168.1.51 um, whatever yours will say so 192.168.1.51 and we'll go ahead and uh, do um, another port for 80 and we enable that, save and apply. So um, I'll leave a link in the description down below on port forwarding on your Linksys, on your um, Netgear. If you have TP link, I also cover that as well. So I'll leave a link down below. And um, yeah, so every time that we type in um, the domain name, um, either it's on the same network or it's on um, a different network, that we're not using um, the same network, obviously, you type in teaminfection.com, um, your website will now appear. And to, to change up all of this, what you want to do is go towards your directory, which is going to be, uh, you want to click the Explorer, uh, then this window will pop up, then you'll go to your HT Docs, and this is your directory. So. Um, you can change it for whatever and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. This is just your basic networking, DNS, um, IP addressing, domain name configuration um, video of how to successfully, you know, port forward and set up your DNS and domain name. Um, so yeah, if this video is very helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, um, that really helps out. And I'll see you in the next video. You take care now.